Hey guys, Saturday. I've got the pooches in the car with me. There's another one back there somewhere. Um, just on my way to pick up some lobster. So excited. I've been wanting lobster for months. And hopefully I can get there in time before they're sold out. Because everybody is like, like the one guy does, uh, he'll say like, I'm going to be at this spot. You transfer me and I've got this many pounds of lobsters or whatever. And then they're sold by the time he's actually set up where he's at. So this person hopefully will still have lobsters. They don't do any transfers, they want cash. So I'm just hoping. Just tell them I told her I wanted them. So anyway, so that's what we're doing. But one thing that I wanted to bring up. Now, today I'm a bit in my head. Like I'm just in a bit of a funk. It's rainy. It's just, I'm just done with the weather. I need sun and warmth and to be outside. But it's nothing to do with what I'm gonna say. Has anybody found it difficult now to have normal conversations with people anymore? Like, there's two people I can still talk to normally. I mean, like, it's like nobody knows how to communicate anymore. It's just everybody's, like, in their head. Like, they just can't. Like, I can't even get it out. But, like, I can talk to my parents and have beautiful conversations and it'd be normal. And I can talk to my husband and have beautiful conversations and be normal. Everybody else, not that I talk to like one other person, <laughs> but no, like seriously, anybody else, it just seems to be like, it's just not working out. You know what I mean? Like the words, somebody's misunderstanding something or I don't know, but, but I can say this, that since this quarantine, this pandemic, I think it's actually made my marriage better, as weird as that is, because I would have thought that being stuck at home, not the way we're actually both essential workers, so we're still, what's happening here? Oh, ambulance is coming, I was like, why is this guy pulling over? Um, yeah, so we're not like stuck in the house 24 seven with each other, but, um, We are normally, our normal schedules, like he's a shift worker and I have a set um, schedule. So, so there'll be times where we're on opposite schedules for like a week and then the next week we're kind of somebody together, but I'm still, um, but now like we're actually home almost every evening together, you know, we're just home a lot more together and I thought that would really irritate me because I'm the type of person that needs my own space. I don't like being with somebody 24 seven. And um, like I said, like we're not, but we're together a lot more than we used to be. To the point now that if he's gone for too long, I start to get anxiety because now I'm used to having him around. And like I said, he's the only one I can communicate with now. And he knows when I'm starting to spiral to, um, if I get to my head too much, like he'll tell me like, you need to stop and like refocus what you're doing so that I don't continue spiral and just become a mess so yeah how's it working for everybody else out there like are you guys is it harder on your relationships do you find is your relationships are improving because you're together more or do you want to like become carol baskin with your spouse like what's going on give me some feedback but uh yeah so we were lexi and i were supposed to camp out last night but because it's raining, like, we're like, that's not gonna happen. But now tomorrow, it's supposed to be up to 18, and Monday's supposed to be real nice, and I have Monday off, so I think tomorrow we're gonna camp out. So I'm looking forward to that. But that's our update, I'm gonna go get my lobsters. Okay guys, we're gonna show Nala a lobster for the first time. Let me get one out. Oh. All right, here they are. So we'll take this guy out. Here, there. Oh my God, he's heavy. Okay, look, what's this? What is it? Don't lick it. I think there's something bad on the front. No, Emma. Emma tried to eat it. What do you think, Nala? Oh, Nala's like, Emma. Car driver. 
Unbelievable! Oh. Hey guys, we're at my parents, and uh, we're just eat, eating. But I want to show you my niece's dogs. So, cool. so right now we have my three dogs and my niece's three dogs. Well, two nieces, three dogs. But anyway, so there he is. He's a handsome boy, Brody. And then we get Cosmo. And where's Nova? Oh, and there's Nova. Just have her snacks. The only reason I like this sound is because um, it's not like it down. Hello, Miss Emma. Brookie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that one. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Mo. Get over here, you Nova. Nova, Sean. You didn't want to drive? That's okay, baby. You have to feel comfortable. Did you like it? Was it fun? Yes. Yes. Oh, You're extremely dirty. You're not dirty. No, I guess a little bit more. Right? Not bad. <laughs> See, she's what? Reincarcerated. Oh, yeah. Incarcerated. So much alike. Reincarnated. There we go. Reincarnated. I'm going to sit up there like a human. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm watching. And I got the baby over here. Well, I, I asked the church when I got going on a subject do dogs go to heaven when they die? Mm -hmm. And they started out by saying, no, I don't think so, no. And then I brought it up two or three times. At the last one, they said, yes, I think, I think, I think they, they do. think they do. Because it says about there's animals in heaven. Yeah. Right? There's got to be. I don't want to go if there isn't. Yeah, there's all kinds of animals in there. So I bet you, if we if we <laughs> behave ourselves and all who we're supposed to be believing on, uh, someday we'll see Kylie again. Yep. You know, okay. they, they, he, well, well <laughs> somebody bought somebody else bought the land. Well, who knows? But. Uh, somebody in the ditch. Yeah, they're working on somebody in the ditch. Oh, there's a car. Look at it. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, they got somebody down there on the board. Jeepers. It's no joke, man. All right, guys, we're back for the day. Um... It is like eight o'clock at night now, and we're just kind of tired. We're just gonna chill for the rest of the night. But we did, Brookie has been not feeling the best today. And we did find a sore on her back, which we're a little concerned about. But uh, she was having a hard time getting around today. Some, I had somebody give me a um, cannabis gummy to give to her. So she's had it. Now we're gonna wait and see if that maybe helps her feel a little bit better. Because she does get a painkiller in the morning, but uh, now that it's a night, we'll see if this kind of helps your joints and feel a little bit better. But I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Okay, bye.